I am studying physics at Imperial College and I absolutely love it. Uh, she's really dedicated to her studies, she works really hard. She always knows what she needs and what she wants and she's very clear in ex at expressing that and will keep going at problems until they're solved. Yeah, Claire's got a really good sense of humour, I've never really seen her, as frustrating as physics can be, I've never really seen her get too hacked off with anything. <laughs> I think it's just a great laugh. I mean, in the in the tutorials, we we kind of have a bit of a joke about, and we do do the physics as well, I think. But we, um, she's she's great, and we um, as far as how she's doing at university, I think she's doing really quite well. So I've been involved with Claire ever since she came for her first assessment when at the A Centre when she was four years old or thereabouts. Uh, where she was uh, using a BBC computer and two switches to build sentences and at that time you could obviously see that uh, she was very bright and very capable and, and with, given the right technology she could go a long way. It's hard to express but I think the help the A Centre gave me throughout my school education kept me motivated and enabled me to do well enough to get to the place I most wanted to study at, Imperial College. Well, Claire's using a variety of technology, uh, um, mostly based around Windows. I have a desktop computer in my room. I take a laptop to lectures and I have a compact computer on my chair. I access all of them with a joystick instead of a mouse and I use a switch for the left click and on screen keyboards of various kinds. Socially my best piece of technology is my phone dongle which I use mainly on my compact computer so as he travels around with me it is my mobile phone for texting. I use a program called a grid on my desktop for emails. I dictate my academic work most of the time, as writing independently would take too long and be too tiring. I have a gadget called a Digimemo which is linked to my laptop and is very useful because my scribes can write on paper on a Digimemo with a special pen, and what they write on the paper appears on my laptop screen. This means I can easily check that they have understood me as I can see what they are writing and I have a paper copy which I can revise from. With the Digimemo they actually, I think, they feel a bit more um, like it's just a piece of paper, so they do get involved and Claire gets involved and we do have a productive tutorial in that way, so it works really well. Uh, we just utilise the Digimemo, so everyone takes over, it isn't just me, I might write Claire's solution for it, but then I'll pass it on to the next person, and everyone, everyone does it. The Digimemo is an inexpensive off-the-shelf device, but the A Centre suggested it to me when I asked for their help to solve the problem of being able to see what my scribes were writing. The A Centre has also helped me in numerous ways to develop a bespoke on-screen mathematical keyboard using software called SAW. I use it when I am studying by myself in my room because it helps enormously to be able to write the steps in a calculation from a book or some notes myself to help me understand them. She has to have access to some fairly complex maths manipulation and as her needs for maths got more complex so we've had to bring in much more powerful packages and give her access to those. She has access via uh, special access to Windows and uh, the grid which she accesses with, by pointing with a joystick and activating the, the, the selection she wants with a, an e-switch. And uh, over the years, the, the, this has built up in complexity and interaction until you see the sort of amazing keyboard she's using today. Technology is very important to me. When it breaks down, I cannot study or communicate effectively, and this is very frustrating. It causes me to fall behind with my work and it is difficult to catch up and if I can't communicate I am vulnerable. It's the key to my independence. Without technology Claire would be very restricted in the amount of communication and writing and manipulation of maths that she could do and it's key to her success in uh, her career at Imperial College. When I finish my degree, I hope to do a PhD in theoretical or high energy physics and to carry on doing research in physics after that. I am considering PhDs in America, Europe and Japan as well as in the UK.